Hi guys, Flex5101, Esteban here, and today let's talk about the wireframe. So what is the wireframe? That is the skeleton, that is the center line of our tube and joint structure. We use the line tool as well as the rectangle tool to create wireframes that essentially get turned into the tube and joint structure using the Flex5 Creator extension. So for the example today, we've drawn a basic 24 by 24 cube. We have two different ones because we're going to be using the same measurement. Uh, in one, we're going to be removing the measurement, and then the other one, we're going to be adding the measurement. And we're going to see what that happens when we turn these wireframes into tubes and connectors. So for my first one, I would like my overall dimensions to be 24 exterior all around. So from left to right, front to back, and top to bottom, I would like it to be 24 all around. And then for the second example, I would like the 24 inches to be my interior dimension as opposed to my exterior dimension. So we're going to see how that works and how we are able to draw and reduce the basic and the most important one to remember, which is the inch and 5 sixteenths. So that is the measurement that we need to either input for removing or for adding. So let's go ahead and reduce the first example by an inch and 5 sixteenths. So I'm going to go ahead and input inch and 5 sixteenths. So I can see right off the bat that my 24 now is 22 11 sixteenths. I want to do the same thing to the front, excuse me, the top, the height. So I will go ahead and input how long I've moved it. And then from the back, I want to move it an inch and five sixteenths as well. So that first one now is 22 11 sixteenths all around. Good. Second one, we're going to do the same thing opposite way. We're going to select. We're going to add an inch and five sixteenths. So I want to do that left to right. I want to do it on the top to bottom. So I'll select the top portion. And we're going to add an inch and five sixteenths. And then we have just the back portion here. So we'll select and move an inch and five sixteenths. Right? So I repeat it so that we always remember that it's an inch and five sixteenths. So here we go. So same thing, we started off with 24 by 24 all around, and now we have two different cubes with two different dimensions. Let's go ahead and generate and turn this into tube and joint structure. And we can see now, if you look at it from the top view, that that original wireframe at 22 11 sixteenths can represent our center line of our tubes. If I remove this tube here, excuse me, the connector, we can see that the line is running through the center of our structure. So by doing so, we now can see that if we have an exterior dimension, or we'll take the measurement for our exterior, and we see that we end up with 24 inches in total exterior dimension, right, which is what we were talking about when we remove that first measurement. So that's what we want to do. Now the second one, let's look and we'll see that that same thing applies, but for the interior dimension. So now we have an interior between fitting of 24 inches. So just to sum it up, guys, we remove inch and 5 sixteenths from the first one to end up with total exterior of 24, and then we added an inch and 5 sixteenths to that first dimension in our wireframe to end up with a 24 inch interior dimension. And that is how it all goes down as far as when you're first creating that first original wireframe. That's what you're going to want to do every time that you're creating structures is to first draw the overall dimensions of your structure or what would you like your structure to be 
and then from those overall dimensions, either remove an inch and five sixteenths or add an inch, add an inch and five sixteenths, depending on what you would like your interior and your exteriors to be. So that's it for the wireframes. Give it a go and check us out at flexpipeinc.com.